you not excited in this? Apparently. Dale's big into Adele's new song. We've just left our hotel over there. We don't have any insurance for Kazakhstan because I keep forgetting to ask for it at the border. So that is the first order of the day. And then we drive um, as far north as we can till it gets dark and then we'll set up camp. Our plans have changed. We will tell you later. Some guy selling vegetables from his car. Shh. We got our insurance and the man was fuck, 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 fuck. very nice. What? There was a wasp. Alright. <laughs> oh, there's a car coming. Got our insurance and the guy was very nice. So we're getting him to sign the car. It was only £18 to get it, um, so there's no reason not to get it. And now if anyone smashes into us, we're covered legally. Yeah. Daniel just randomly got given a knife by a man in traffic. It's pretty, pretty that, is that a fucking blade? Like a... Yeah. Christ! <laughs> Maybe we should stop in more traffic jams. We found a camping spot just off the very long road that goes straight from. Um, where have we come from? Somewhere beginning with A. Almaty, going to Stana. Um, it's pretty much one straight road. We've driven for a few hundred kilometres today. We pulled off the side. Um, nice and quiet, nice and flat. So we're just going to camp here while it's still late. Okay, so we've set up our tent while it's still light. We will. Explain what we're doing? Yeah. We'll have a seat and explain what's happening. Yeah. Okay, so we've come um, straight north from Almaty in Kazakhstan instead of going east towards Mongolia because. You explain why. We basically. We got an email. Frame coming. Come as far. I can't finish. Basically. A few days ago we got an email from the Adventurists saying that the Mongolian government want a £5,000 deposit, roughly estimated. Ours is about six when we had a look, to, um, to enter the country because on previous years people have left their, their cars there and that's like really illegal. Um, so basically that's just blown Mongolia out of the water for us because we don't have £6,000 to put down as a deposit yeah. and it has to be in local cash currency which is going to be a nightmare because you have to like get a taxi for an hour and a half to the bank and then withdraw the money and then get the hour like back and then we're not sure if we get the deposit straight back so yeah basically it's it's not feasible anymore so we're no longer going to Mongolia so what we decided was because it's 60 hours from Almaty where we were to Ulanud so yeah it's 60 hours from Almaty to Ulanud and then it's 60 hours from Ulanu to Moscow, so it's a 120 hour trip, round trip to Moscow from Almaty. Whereas it's only a 60 hour drive straight to Moscow, and Jimmy needs to be back because he's got coaching, his trampolining, which he can't get cover for. Yeah, have a job. And I mean, yeah, I, I definitely need the money from that job after this trip, so we're now going straight for Moscow, so we're going to miss the official finish line. Hopefully there will be some teams doing the same. We know there are some teams that have done the well, same. There's quite a few teams doing the same, it's just yeah. they're all getting there at different times, so we're not sure whether there'll be many of us there at the same time, but yeah. we're going to have an unofficial finishing party in Moscow. It's kind of annoying that Mongolia is no longer a part of the Mongol rally. Um, there are a few teams doing it, there are a fair few teams not doing it. I apologise for the autofocus on this video because it's very dark and it's having trouble. Yeah, the problem with Ulanud is driving it is just driving long stretches of motorway with nothing to see. Like, there's no there's no benefit. There's nothing in Eastern Russia. It's just crap <laughs> roads. <laughs> Fuck all in Eastern Russia. Like, there's the odd city every now and then, but it's like, we gain nothing by going there. Really, like, the only reason we were going to Ulanud 
Oh, there we go. That's loads better, actually. That was a really good idea. Yeah, that's why I wanted the lantern. So, yeah, the only reason we would have finished the new lanyard is because it was just across the, the border from straight north from Ulaanbaatar. So, it would have worked out really well because you can't finish, because you can't get rid of the cars in Mongolia. So, yeah, um, we're going to end up doing about the same distance. Yeah, just now no longer heading any further east. Cause... Yeah, we're just going to go on a big loop, basically. But we're yeah. still halfway across Russia because we're. You know, it's gonna have to drive halfway across Russia to Moscow, and yeah. it'd be good to see Moscow and Poland. Yeah. But yeah, that's basically the plan. That's the update. Yeah, we were waiting to see. We didn't mention it earlier because there was a possibility that the adventurers were having words with like the Mongolian government, trying to find out where the whole six thousand dollar deposit thing came from. Well, because we've paid, we've paid an eight hundred pound deposit with the with the adventurers to make sure we didn't leave our car in Mongolia. So I don't really know what the point in that was. Um, so, yeah, no Mongolia. We thought it would have been rectified by this point, but now a, about a week has passed now since they mentioned it. Well, at least four days, five days. Yeah, so nothing looks like it's going to change. We can't afford to put that kind of deposit down for the car. And, I mean, if something did happen to the car, definitely can't yeah, afford Yeah, we can't afford to lose six thousand dollars So We definitely don't have like liquid enough assets to, to get six grand. From someone like, exactly. like we just we can't do it so we're going to moscow instead and that's the update the mongol rally now no longer contains mongolia for us yeah it's now the the former soviet union rally yeah that's what it's become but it's been good yeah i know we've gotten that we're missing mongolia gotten that we spent 70 pound on visa for mongolia yeah it's just one of waste of money but iran was great and iran's been worth the whole thing really yeah the sunset looks super nice because we're in the middle of the desert and the stars should be good as well. And Jake's just here because he's yeah, on the video. He just Jake arrived. He's just, he's just arrived. Yes, there. I moved the setup, Jake, but it took a while to get there. Yeah. Yeah, and they like the the, the phone the lights. Bounce. Come in, come in. Come I was just allowing come get, you to come behind me. Hello. What are your thoughts on missing out Mongolia, Jake? Come down uh, and get a bit closer. Pretty good in. But I feel like Moscow would it make up for it, or well, maybe not make up for it, but it'll be a different experience. Yeah. We're you're hoping we're not going to get bitten by any you're snakes or spiders. On, a, on the knee. There's a lot of mosquitoes about. Can you get my jungle formula out? And that's it. Apologise at the start of this video was um, the start. It was kind of dark. You couldn't see anything and the autofocus was off. But really, there wasn't that much to see because it was just us after a long day of driving, just talking. So, yeah. Probably for the best you can see us anyway. And that's the end of the day. We're going to get up super early tomorrow to do about 12 or 13 hours of driving to try and get as close as we can to, to the, the northern border. border. Yeah. But, and then we'll drive the, what, four or five days to Moscow? Wait, not three yeah, or four, three I reckon. Four days no, to four Moscow. Hours. No, it's 30 hours. Is oh, that okay. it? Yeah, yeah. All right, okay. And it should all be on fairly decent, or I progressively think more decent roads. I think right, we have been talking for eight, be <laughs> eight minutes now. We're gonna go and go to bed, and we'll- well, we're not, we're gonna, we're gonna watch the stars. See you tomorrow. But we've got no food, so yeah. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna sit here, look hungry. at the stars for a bit, go to bed, then go to bed. So yeah, eight minute long video for you guys. Only about two minutes of it was actual useful yeah, information, yeah, yeah, so yeah. good Better. luck Jimmy editing this. <laughs> See you tomorrow, here's the sunset. I'm getting fucking eaten alive.